Good ethical evening. <laughs> On a Sunday, run. Okay, okay, cool. On a good old Friday, join us for a talk show. Ethan Lawrence family. Oh, beware of the fun that is bound to come on a good old Friday night. Yeah! Good ethical evening. Today, we are doing A Plus About Us, A Food for Thought, and Story Time. <laughs> and Story Time. To start it off, though, Lauren is going to give us a plus about her. Alrighty, so random funny story for today for A Plus About Us. I'm going to be telling you about my pet donkeys. Yes, you heard that right. I have three pet donkeys. My family and I live kind of out in the country, as country as you can get, I guess, in Florida while staying within 10 minutes of town. Um, so we have a little piece of land and we have three pet donkeys. Their names, you probably don't care, but their names are April, May, and Finley. April is about yay high, May. It's not June. You can't see that, can you? April's about this high, May is a little bit lower. <laughs> Finley is very small. He's a small donkey. He's a miniature donkey. He's dark black. He's very cute. And he's actually a father. One of our donkeys is actually pregnant. So maybe in the course of our campaign, you will see a baby donkey. Looks like a camel. <laughs> Just kidding. I haven't seen him recently. It's a her. The pregnant one. I haven't seen the pregnant, pregnant one. Recently. Of course, the hers. <laughs> Anyways, so that is about my pet donkeys. Um, I guess I can tag on a really funny story. When we first got Finley, we actually put him in the back of our minivan. And so I have a bunch of funny pictures and videos of my family inside of our minivan with a donkey in the back. Completing the family. Completing the family. Yep. Very yeah. cool. Yep. That is a fun fact. <laughs> Can you take me back when we were just kids who weren't scared of getting older? Yeah. No one knows you like they know you, and no one probably ever will. You can grow up, make new ones, but truth is, it's nothing like old. A suit. It's a campaign ad. Don't vote left. Vote, vote right. right. <clears throat> Moving right along, we're going to go into, excuse me, another food for thought. Um, and in this one, what? Yummy. <laughs> and in this one, we're going to talk about, I just had it. Did you hear it? Tom? We are going to be talking about the blood moon. The blood moon. Okay. So, the blood moon. Recently, I took a trip to Colorado and Wyoming. And while we were driving in Colorado and Wyoming, the fires were still going and um, they were very prevalent. And so the sky was really dark in some areas and everything was a little bit eerie, I guess. And there was ash floating down like rain, literally. It was really weird. But while we were there, we were driving and we looked at the moon and the moon was red. It was weirdly red. And my dad, who's great, he's awesome, and he's really wise when it comes to the Bible, and he really knows a lot about the Bible, he started talking about how, how the Lord uses his own creation a lot of times to accomplish what he wants without saying, like, so if he says that the river is going to turn to blood, yes, he can turn it to blood, and it probably will just turn into blood, but he could also do it in a different way and actually bring blood down from something, make it so that the rain starts raining blood because of the way he's created his, his nature and the way that he's created the laws of nature. Um, so about the blood moon, <clears throat> my dad was saying that in the, in the um, tribulation, again, this one's on the tribulation, these are just cool thoughts that I've come across and two of them happen to be on the tribulation. Anyway, when the tribulation happens, um, there is going to be a blood moon and so my dad was talking about how that 
blood moon could come from the fires that are on earth during the tribulation. Just really interesting because I've always pictured sort of like the, the moon would just turn red um, supernaturally uh, or something like that, but which the Lord could obviously do. But it's a really different perspective on how the Lord can accomplish his will. And it was good because it spurred a good conversation about um, how the Lord works and sometimes he does it through miraculous things and sometimes he just uses his nature uh, to accomplish what he's trying to accomplish. But that being said, we are ready for a story time. We will move right along out there. I'll see you soon. Hello there. I'm Stanley. Tale of the storm. <clears throat> As the storm approached from the east, so too did the contending darkness envelop the evening. I, lone and fierce, bravely approached and left the comfort and the safety of my confines. As I walked onto my back porch, I lay down in my hammock and slept through Hurricane Irma. Some say I did not survive, others know differently, but I can say one thing for sure, that night I did not wake up. <laughs>